So I free space. Want that Cuba. No. <laughs> Okay everybody, welcome back to the new Aubrey Scott Productions with another brand new game show run with Jeopardy for the Super Nintendo. Hope you're all ready. Huh. Oh, I forgot, you gotta use it in the other port. All right. There it goes, that works much better. And as I take on the two computer players, let's play the Jeopardy round. Six categories we're going to be dealing with are musical instruments, literature, first ladies, animal adjectives, sport of kings, and finally, colleges. All right, let's get this party started. Animal adjectives 100. When something smells suspicious, what is fishy? Animal is 200. The answer is... Something shabby, as though gnawed by rodents. What is ratty? I'll take uh, animal for 300. The or for 400, I guess. Stubborn. What is mulish? Now give me the three hundred dollar clue in that category. What you might feel after spilling wine all over your hostess's lamb chops. What is sheepish? Analyptus for five hundred. Earth sign synonym for surly. What is berry? No. Oh, 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 I get it now. Rob. Bearish. It's bearish, not berry. Alright. Here we go. Musical instruments, 100. Goodman's licorice stick. What is a clarinet? Where are your manners? Musical instruments, 200. Good answer. <laughs> or 300, I guess. Percussive plates that serve up a din. What are symbols? Musical instruments for 200. Daily double. I'll bet it all. Afro-Cuban skins that were kept that kept the beat from beating poetry. What are bongos? Yes. Musical instruments for 400. Oh, I was answering a question correctly. Ravi Shankar inspired George Harrison to use this instrument with the Beatles. What is a sitar? And musical instruments for 500. The answer is... Plucked instrument brought to the U.S. by slaves, now a fixture in bluegrass. What is a banjo? $2,700 now. I will take colleges for 100. The answer is... This college fund was set up because a mind is a terrible thing to waste. 
What is the United Negro College Fund? I'll take the two hundred dollar clue in colleges. The answer is a New York Ivy League university is named for this Quaker who helped develop the U.S. telegraph system. Who is Ezra Cornell? Colleges and universities for three hundred. The answer is Columbia University is not in South Carolina, but in this city. What is New York? Colleges and universities for 400. The answer is... This first collegiate business school at the University of Pennsylvania was founded in 1881. What is the Wharton School? Colleges and universities for 500. The answer is... While the University of Washington is in Seattle, Washington University is in this Midwestern city. What is uh, St. Louis? It's the one. 4,200 now. I'll take first ladies for 100. Or for 200, I guess. Tom Selleck said this first lady helped him overcome his fear of dancing with the Princess of Wales. Who is Nancy Reagan? Now I'll take the $100 clue in that category. The answer is... His wife, Louisa, was the only first lady born abroad, but she was buried in Quincy, Massachusetts. Sue. John Quincy Adams. $100 for Sue, and we go to the next clue. Literature, 100 The answer is... To supplement his income, this MD wrote a study in Scarlet. Who is uh, Arthur Conan Doyle? Or it could be somebody else. Oh, it is Arthur Conan Doyle. I got it right. Literature 200. For 300, I guess. Her father assumed the name Barrett when he inherited slave plantations in the West Indies. Who's Elizabeth Barrett Browning? Two hundred. The answer is pseudonym of poet George William Russell or first initials of poet Hausman. What are A E? Literature four hundred. The answer is angered by American piracies of his novels, he put down the U S. in his Martin Chuzzlewit. Who's Charles Dickens? Literature 500. The answer is... His modest proposal of 1729 was to cure Ireland's overpopulation by using babies as food. Sue. Jonathan Swift. Okay. Sport of Kings 100. The answer is... Nicknamed the Shoe, he holds the record for single season wins. And Rob locked me out. Willie Shoemaker. Uh-huh. I knew that one, but that's okay. Rob and Sue are tied at $600 apiece. Sport of Kings, 200 The answer is... Type of betting whose name is from the French for mutual stake. What is a peri-mutual?
shoot. I misspelled it. Perry Mutual. I mixed up the A and the E. That's okay. Sporter Kings 300. The answer is. The oldest race in the Triple Crown. What is the Belmont Stakes? I'll take Sport of Kings for 400. The answer is. A three fourth mile race is this long in furlongs. What is six? Sport of Kings 500. The answer is. In 1919 through 1920, this four-legged battleship won 20 of 21 starts. Who is Man of War? Sport of Kings 300. Or no, yeah, First Lady's 300. Excuse me. The answer is... Mrs. Dixon was nicknamed Pat because she was born on the eve of this holiday. Ah. So you locked me out. St. Patrick's Day, yeah, I knew that one, but I got locked out. Okay. First Lady's 400. The answer is... She was the only lady, First Lady born in Kentucky. Who is Mary Todd Lincoln? Last clue. The answer is. She co-wrote the 1988 book Wildflowers in America. Rob locked me out. Lady Bird Johnson. So at the end of the Jeopardy round, Rob is 1300. I have 6800. Sue 900. So she'll go first in double Jeopardy. <laughs> Categories for Double Jeopardy are going to be Nature, Double Talk, International Cuisine, Hitchcock, Imaginary Islands, and finally, Political Quotes. Here we go. Political Quotes 200. Many abolitionists have yet to learn the ABC of women's rights, she wrote in 1860. Who is uh, Susan B. Anthony? Take political quotes for 400. Yeah. Where are your manners? 1920, long before he became prime minister, he said he oh, weren't only killed once, but in politics many times. <laughs> Who's Winston Churchill? Yeah, my minutes are up to ask again. <laughs> political quotes, 600. Charles Dudley Warner, who once wrote a book with Mark Twain, said politics makes these. Sue. Strange bedfellows. Uh-huh. Political quotes 800. This president compared herself to a crusading housewife let loose in a den of thieves. Rob. Cortisone Aquino. Putting Rob at 2100. Nature 200. The larva of moths and butterflies. What are caterpillars? Nature for 400. Or for 600, I guess. Owls depend on their keen sense of sight and this to hunt. What is hearing? Now I want the $400 clue. The answer is. 
fruit. Type of cactus plant such as cactus and aloe. This name means juicy. Uh, soup. Succulent, yeah. Hitchcock, 200. The film in which Nutty Norman Bates was a real cut-up. What a psycho. Uh, Hitchcock Corner, please. He starred in Notorious, Suspicion, and North by Northwest. Who's Cary Grant? Hitchcock for 600. Or 800. Hitchcock's first American movie in which the title character never appears. What is Rebecca? Now Hitchcock for 600. He played the killer James Stewart saw through the rear window. Ah. Sue locked me out. Raymond Burr, yeah, that was my guess. Yeah. International Cuisine for 200. Yeah, These Chinese dumplings are commonly served in soup or fried as a side dish. <laughs> Rob locked me out. Wontons, uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. International Cuisine for 400. Yeah, Hungarian goulash is traditionally seasoned with this powdered pepper. What is paprika? And that'll put me in the five figures at $10,000. I'll take uh, International Cuisine for 600. Yeah, Tamales are sometimes steamed in banana leaves, but are usually wrapped in these. Ah, Dead gummit, Robbie, lock me out. Oh, Alright, Mikey. <laughs> International cuisine, 800. And that's one of the two daily doubles, so it kind of cost me there. That's okay. Rob's going 2,900. Here's the clue. This chicken dish made with noodles, cheese, and cream sauce was named for an Italian opera singer, and he doesn't know that it's chicken tetrazzini. I knew that one, but that's okay. Hitchcock, a thousand. The answer is... This Doris Day movie wasn't his best, but K. Seurat, Seurat. Rob. The man who knew too much. Mm hmm Thousand dollars. International cuisine, a thousand. Served on meat, Mater D Hotel contains butter. Con Mater D Hotel butter contains salt, pepper, parsley, and this juice. What is lemon juice? I'll take nature for 800. Yes, Tropical woods with at least 100 inches of precipitation annually. What is the rainforest? Nature for a thousand. The other daily double. I'll do twelve hundred. Collective name of the three kinds of North American wild sheep. What is Bighorn? Yep. Putting me at thirteen thousand dollars and I want political quotes for a thousand. In reference to his post World War One fourteen points, Clemenceau noted the good Lord had only ten. Who is Woodrow Wilson? Okay. I'll take uh, Double Talk 200. These two words precede Sweet Charlotte in a 1965 film title. What are Hush Hush? Over $14,000 right now. Or I'm at $14,000. Fix would be 14200 
Um, Double Talk 400. The answer is... Nickname of Skater Starbuck, who was married to a quarterback. What is JoJo? Double Talk for 600. The answer is... Fleischer's cartoon clown who grew out of the inkwell. His name sounds like a chocolate drink. Who is Coco? Double Talk 800. Yes, Born Marie Laurie, she appeared in, and sang the title song of To Serve With Love. Who was... Oh, Born Marie Laurie, she appeared in and sang the title song of To Serve With Love. Uh... I don't remember. I didn't mean to ring in. Lulu, that's right. I forgot. That's alright. Putting Sue up at 3,300. Six clues left. Imaginary Islands, 200. Sir Thomas More created this idyllic island 15 miles off the coast of Americas. What is Utopia? Imaginary Islands, 400. Friday's Beach is one of several beaches on this character's island in the Atlantic. Who is Robinson Crusoe? Where are your manners? <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Imaginary Islands for 600. Supposedly near Mexico, its name comes from Captain Flint's booty buried there. What is Treasure Island? Imaginary Islands for 800, please. The answer is... This monstrous animal came to New York from Skull Island, southwest of Sumatra. Who is King Kong? Who Mikey thought once said, I'm not a squirrel, I'm a boy. Imaginary Islands, 1,000. The answer is... The Island of the Busy Bees is in the Tyrrhenian Sea in this children's classic by Carlo Collodi. What is Pinocchio? Now the last clue. The answer is... Double order at a deli, or a Tom Conti film about a Celtic poet. What is Reuben Reuben? And that'll put me at $18,400. $18,400 for me, $3,300 for Sue, $1,000 for Rob. We got Final Jeopardy to deal with. The category is the Cabinet. I'm gonna go 1600. The flag of the Secretary of this department bears a clipper ship and a lighthouse. What is Department of the Interior? Let's see if I'm right. How much is Sue gonna go? She's going all in. I'm either going to get $20,000 or I'm going to get $16,800. Let's go to Alex Trebek. Bless you. It's commerce, so I'm going to leave with $16,800, but that is okay. Rob got it right. Sue got it right. I got it wrong. However, I'm still going to have a one game winning total of $16,800. And we'll see you all for that next video coming soon.